hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm just so excited about showing you this look I created this look using um, one of my new palettes this is the Juvia's masquerade I haven't heard about this palette like a year ago if I'm not wrong one of my friends she got it and she's like oh my god the pigmentation is amazing you like color you should have it but some way somehow I never ordered it you know but um yeah but now I just got it and I was I got this I think Wednesday and I have a full-time job so I have to record every weekend you know on my times off so I was so so excited to film and just put my hands on it and start swatching and all that kind of stuff so but finally it's here this is how it looks isn't this so beautiful this is just beautiful but yeah um let me show you how it looks inside it doesn't come with um mirror but to me that's not really a necessity since i have bunches of mirrors um but yeah this is how it looks like it's a very big palette like it comes with approximately not approximately it comes with sorry um 16 colors okay i was saying <laughs> sorry i just i just dropped my palette you know but hey look it's in one piece anyways so it comes with 16 colors. What I'm using today, I use um, Burkina, Makita. I hope I'm pronouncing those names right. <laughs> I use the Fulani and also Giza. Those are the colors that I used for my look today. But this is so, so beautiful. What I'm gonna do is just to show you guys some of the swatches from this palette I know you already have seen it but I feel like it's just beautiful this is the color Chi, like you see it right here and this is how the swatch look like yep that is just beautiful I want to get this other one this is the Mal Mali and I'm switching next to the other one. Oh my god. Like, that's just so, so beautiful. This is the next one. That's the color Dahlia or Dahlia or, you know, you got it right there. I'm going to put the other one next to each other. And that's the first row right here, and this is exactly how it looks like. You cannot match my dress. Mm -hmm. This is everything I had to share with you guys. If you haven't got your hands on this beauty, you need to go and get it. Also, I'm gonna order the Nubia, Nubia 2, and also the Sahara palette, because they are gorgeous. So, yeah, but I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any requests, anything that you would like to see, just comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that is Join Fraser with double R. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. To prime my face, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I'm gonna apply this using my fingers all over my face. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites. This is the Steel Lauder Double Wear. I'm in the shade 3 in 1. And I'm gonna be using my foundation brush just to apply all over my face. Since I have texture on my skin, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender Pro. This is to blend into my face, the foundation to get like a better, nice, flawless finish. For my concealer, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Concealer. 
out of the shape porcelain and this is one of my favorite con drugstore concealer for right now this is just amazing it reminds me to the NARS concealer and to blend this into my face I'm gonna be using the Beauty Blender Pro and I'm just gonna blend until I don't see no harsh lines into it To set my concealer, I'm going to be using my favorite from Steve Lauder. This is the Perfect in Loose Powder. And I'm just going to apply this using my same beauty blender. And I'm going to put extra under my eyes since I'm going to be using very colorful eyeshadows. This is my first time trying them. So any falls out, I can just sweep it out at the end. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Double Wear Powder Foundation from Steve Lauder. I'm in the shade 3 in 1 and also I'm going to avoid under my eyes. I already did my eyebrows off camera. Here I'm using the Anastasia Rodriguez Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. If you guys would like a tutorial on that, please comment down below. Now to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Cavan D Tattoo Concealer in the shade Light. I'm doing this to prime my eyes as I'm going to be using a very bright color eyeshadow. If you're using uh, any other primer, you do just fine, but for bright colors, I like to conceal my eyes first. And over this, I'm going to stain my concealer with some setting powder just to get a better application of the eyeshadow later. already did my left eye so let's get started first I'm gonna be using this shade this is the color Giza and I'm gonna apply this using a medium shader and I'm gonna put apply this all over my eye so now for my transition color okay <laughs> that just happened anyways for my transition color I'm gonna be using the color Burkina and I'm gonna use a medium blender brush and I'm gonna apply this all over my eye and I'm gonna disseminate this color all, of, all the way to my eyebrow bone Okay, now for my crease, I'm going to be using the color Fulani and I'm going to get a small uh, liner brush and I'm going to do a line all over my crease. This is a really brown shade and I'm going to make sure the line is very sharp because after this, I'm going to come back to the color Burkina with my medium blender and I'm going to blend all over this line. And I'm going to do this process for around three times until I get that line really disseminate with the other color. But I also get a precision of where I want my cut crease to start. Okay, now that we have that crease there, I'm going to use the Tattoo Liner from Cavan D, this is the shade Light, and I'm going to cut that crease over there, and I'm going to use a small synthetic brush, and I'm going to apply very carefully, just take your time, it's not that hard, and you just have to apply that concealer in there. Okay, now that I have my concealer done, I'm going to use the color Makita with a small padding brush and I'm going to make sure I don't pass the line where I put my concealer. I'm just going to apply this color all over my lid.
Okay, now that we have the color in the lid, I'm gonna come back to the color Giza and I'm gonna apply this in the center of my eyelid. This is just to create like a little bit of light in the center, kind of like a halo eyes and it's gonna give their final touch to the eye look. Time for eyeliner. I'm gonna use one of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeliners. This is the Cavan D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. And I'm just gonna follow where my eyeshadow goes to create a wing. If you are into liner and you think you can do it, you have to try this one. Once you try this one, any wing, any liner that you wanna create, it will be so much easier, I promise you you will be a master because this is a very nice liner and it gives you more precision to your application. With a big powder brush, I'm gonna take out all the powder that I have under my eyes and I'm gonna come back to my Steel Lauder Powder Foundation 3-in-1 and I'm gonna apply this over my under eyes just to take out a little bit of the white color of the powder and to bring my face into one color shade. Okay, now for contour and browns my face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Coca Contour Kit and I'm going to be using these two colors with my F40 is the angle contour and I'm going to apply on the halos on my cheeks, on my forehead and under my chin just to bring color into my face. For blush, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite. This is the Lara Geller Fake Blush. I'm in the shade Tropical Hues, and I'm gonna apply this with my big powder brush, and this is from Sephora. Over my blush, I'm gonna be using my Baby Cakes palette from Lara Geller. I'm gonna take all the colors and I'm gonna apply with my Sephora powder brush now for my lips I'm gonna be using one of my new lip liners this is the exaggerate from Rimmel London in the color 063 and I'm gonna apply this all over my lips Now I want shiny lips, so for that I'm going to be using my Sigma Lip Vex Lip Gloss and I'm going to apply this all over my lips. This combination of these two is so beautiful. It just gives you amazing bright lips. And now to set all my face, I'm going to be using my Max Fix to make sure nothing moves away. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight, not too much. I just want like a little subtle type of a highlight. So for that I'm going to be using the Too Faced Candle Light. And I'm going to apply this with my small thumb brush. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you redo this look. Just tag me on your pictures. I can't wait to see it. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. All that is Joy and Friendship with Double R. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Bye.